my mum's secret cupboard, we have chocolate, crisps, caramels, biscuits, biscuits, candy, every sweet thing in the world. Whoa, holy shit, calm down there. A little bit of a weird flex, but okay. Not very secret though, is it? If, if you can find it straight away. I, kids at the age of seven, when they don't get pocket money and the only thing they can flex is food. That's right, we're watching junk food kids again. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's not very funny. I will be honest, it's quite a serious thing. You have these parents that are delusional and not believing the fact that these kids are overweight and carry on feeding them extortionate portions and also very unhealthy food. We made one video of this series in the past talking about a kid called Leon, who yes, the mother was feeding pretty healthy, but portions bigger than what even I would eat. And the TV presenters pointed this out to her, but yet she was just so in denial, she couldn't even see that as a possibility. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about a girl called Tallulah, who is four years old, who lives with her mum, Natalie, who, surprise, surprise, feeds her well, not the best of foods. She's about to start school, but it's hard to find a uniform that will fit. Do you like that skirt? I do want it, but I want you now. Yeah, eight to nine years. <laughs> we'll have a try of this one. No, what she got? Six quid? Bargain. bargain. Absolute bargain. Six quid, guys. I do be a bargain. I might be popping into Asda later myself to buy one of those skirts if it's only six pounds. Absolute bargain. Means I can spend more money on Pringles. I always love the excuses as well, like you're about to see in this episode, where a lot of them claim that, well, the kids have always been, <laughs> have always been big, so it couldn't possibly have been the parents' fault. They're just big boned. They were born this way. It's really out of uh, their control. It's just the way they genetically are. What's that? Yes, I know the copious amount of chocolate and crisps and basic portions I probably give my child. Yeah, 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 they, they probably don't help, but... No, not Tallulah. It's the way she's always been, which honestly is a terrible excuse, but yes, they seem to make it every time. Tallulah hasn't always been big. She's, she was a big baby, but she wasn't like overly massive i think even that might be a push to lula <laughs> last couple of years she's piled loads of weight on adults that i know have said that she's fat heart wrenched me i'll be 12. so heart-wrenching in fact that we're now in asda laughing about the fact that my kid cannot fit in a dress that's just how serious i'm taking this i <laughs> So serious that I, I'm laughing and I've decided to put her on a TV program for money. <laughs> so you best believe I'm taking this serious. Look, I understand that maybe not everyone has been fully educated and make mistakes as a parent. I feel like that's probably one of the points of being a parent is you're gonna go along and make mistakes from time to time. But I will say in the same breath that overfeeding your kid and, and having your kid be overweight isn't exactly like one of those mistakes that just happens overnight. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like the equivalent of the tooth fairy, the fat fairy, came in the middle of the night and Tululu is just bang it just had oh oh god the fat fairy's been it, i mean it kind of takes a bit of time to sort of build up to this i feel like there's so many opportunities along the way to actually try and correct this even that's a little bit tight because i don't want people to call a fat it's one thing i definitely don't want so what better way <laughs> to ensure that than to put her on a uh, bbc for millions of people to watch eh what is this logic? Yeah, I don't I don't want people to call my kid fat, so I'm gonna put her on national TV. National TV for millions of people to see. All them calories clearly going to the brain. That's a big brain moment, if I do say so myself. Now, I think it goes without saying when I make these videos, the kids are absolutely not at fault. And it's 100% depressing to watch this because you're watching this and the kid literally has no control over what they eat. You know, it's not like Tallulu here could go f meal prep for the week. <laughs> like, she's four years old, bro. Tallulu probably doesn't even know what a calorie is. She probably can't even spell calorie. I can't. I know I'm dyslexic, but Tallulu's four. <laughs> she probably has more, more of a reason than me. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of frustrating when I see this kind of stuff mainly because again there's so many opportunities along the way to correct this kind of behavior and yet they don't it's like they come onto this tv program to try and make a point as to double down and try and be like see see guys honestly I know all the other people on this program like you've you've sussed them out but my 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 Tallulah over there she is a science mystery I, t I don't understand being overweight isn't Tallulah's only health problem She's also suffering from severe tooth decay. When Tallulah was born, she never had a dummy. 
she always had a bottle. So as she got older, it went from formula to cow's milk to juice. To vodka and coke. <laughs> why, like, why are these parents telling us uh, like this? You know, it's almost like she's telling us what Tallulah's doing. She's four. You can change that at any second. Ah, oh, it's Tallulah's wishes that she has a bottle. It's what she wants at the end of the day. Tallulah wants, Tallulah gets. What kind of, what kind of way of thinking is that? They're, they're literally a kid. You can take that bottle away at any point. Yeah, okay, I, I understand. Me not being a father, I, I can completely respect the fact that that sounds way more difficult than it would probably take in actual practice. I, I know that the kid is probably going to kick and scream and go absolutely haywire. But I tell you what, would you not rather have that for a few weeks than for your kid to have medical health problems for the rest of their life? You know what I'm saying? Because she clearly knows every single issue with Tula. She's telling us, she's literally, she's literally sat here saying every single thing that's wrong with her, but <laughs> she's not doing anything. She's like, yeah, it's weird. She just still drinks bowls. Like you're the parent. You can change this at any time. Now I know that's my fault, but it was easier for me on a night to give her a bottle of juice than to try and sit up with her all night and try and get her back to sleep. Oh, okay. When you say it like that, yeah, okay, no, that makes sense now, guys. You know, she had me in the first half, but it makes sense now. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's almost like sugar decays teeth or something. Kind of strange. I also like what the kids drink in here as well. I've got to give it to my parents. Uh, I'm extremely grateful for how harsh they were on me as a kid. I wasn't really allowed ketchup. I certainly wasn't allowed drinks like that. I wasn't allowed much chocolate. Yeah, I was quite a skinny kid growing up. But again, my parents were like double down. Not to the point where it was like over strict, right? For Christmas and stuff, it was always like, yeah, have what you want and stuff. But And for your birthday. But any other day, they were pretty like firm. And I actually really do appreciate that now growing up and not having to ever experience. The only time I've ever really put on weight was probably lockdown. I put on about two or three stone and I've lost that since because it's almost like eating healthy and doing exercise. A uh, bit of a head scratch this one, but it's almost like that actually makes you lose weight. I know I just angered so many people in the comments with that. I did notice it started to damage your teeth at the front. But like, come on, man, you're telling us exactly what the issue is and you're letting your kid drink these juices that you've brought. Like, she's almost trying to play dumb for the camera. Like, oh, it's strange. Yeah, weird. Weird how that happens. And obviously, you know, they've just got worse. That one hurts me. That one hurts me. That one hurts me. All of them hurt me. Oh, man, that kind of sucks, huh? Like, generally, I can sympathize with that because my teeth at the back... Again, me as a kid, uh, I didn't take care of them when I was younger. And yeah, I'm paying the consequences now for them. Like I even made a post about having to get some teeth removed at the back. And it, it kind of sucks. Like it's so important to teach your kids, you know, about your teeth, brushing them properly, flossing and everything. Again, these are things that shouldn't be on the kid. It should be on the parent teaching them and making sure that they're brushing. And let me tell you guys, holy sh**. Does toothache hurt? Getting my teeth removed. Yeah, I, I was put under sedation, so obviously it didn't hurt. But I, I like, and I only got this done about three or four weeks ago. <laughs> like, so it's pretty recent. My teeth, after they were pulled out at the back, that was a walk in the park. Like, it, okay, it bled a lot and stuff. But like, yeah, that really did not hurt at all. As opposed to the teeth ache. And you can clearly see that she's got all her teeth there. And they're clearly causing her a lot of discomfort. That must suck. Every single tooth that she just pointed, she basically just pointed at every tooth. But yeah, the mum is still giving her a bottle of juice and acting like, yeah, it's strange. Like, I know it's this, but yeah, can't stop it now. <laughs> at the bottom. I'm so hungry at the top. Sugary drinks, it's those diets which are linked to decay, not good diets. It's the bad diet that causes dental decay. Riga. It's one of my favourite dinners. I cannot see a problem with everything that I give it. <laughs> What? The jacket does the same though. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I don't see any issue with what I'm giving my sweet Talola. <laughs> 
the same fucking size as her. I don't understand. Like, I know that they think what they're giving their children is healthy. And yeah, okay, I wouldn't actually say this is the most unhealthiest of meals. Like a jacket potato is literally a type of food that you get every single nutrient from. So nutrient dense, that's great. But hold, bro, it's the same size as her. Like portion control should be like one of those no brainers, right? I think some certain foods that have like oils and whatnot, like really calorie dense, that can be a little bit tricky to understand. But portion control, that's like the bait. Everybody is taught that. And yet this is the second episode I'm recording and both parents have had issues understanding that. And I can't for the life of me understand why. <laughs> Well, how do you not know that that is going to be putting on weight for your kid? It's the same size. So if you're having the same portion as your kid who's four years old, and look, I'm not, not going to be around the bush. It's not like the mom's exactly a skinny legend herself. I'm going to assume that, yes, it probably would be not the best for her. I honestly do not believe no, she's put all this weight on just through what she eats. <laughs> what? That has to be the strangest sentence I've ever heard. I want you to do it all together now. Let's say that out loud. I don't believe Matalula has put on all that weight just through it in. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, I guess the sugary drinks also don't help that have, what, hundreds of calories. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> like, where do these people think where calories come from? <laughs> I have nothing to say. I think the sentence that I just said speaks for itself. Thyroid. Thyroid. So, so it might be something to do with that. Oh, that makes sense, Natalie. <laughs> Bloody thyroid. Oh, it is a bastard. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know what's worse. The fact that you generally think your four-year-old kid has thyroid or the fact that you're just not going to admit or take any blame for this. I understand, again, the last thing you really want to hear, right, is to say out loud that you are the issue or why your kid is overweight. Like, that can't be nice to hear for any parent. So I understand a lot of them are in denial. I'm not sat here like completely baffled on why she would say that. But come on, man, you need to get real. Like generally, four year, you think your four year old has got big from thyroid and not from the massive meal that you just, you just gave her the same portion as yourself. Okay, that makes sense. Right, you two. Today, Natalie has to take Tallulah to see the hygienist. It's an appointment they have to attend before the hospital will see Tallulah. But it starts in 10 minutes, and it's eight miles away. Yeesh, guys, I'm no mathematician, but wait, it's eight, wait, eight miles away where they're walking. <laughs> what, what, what? Holy sh**. Look, Natalie, I, I respect you want to get your badges on your Fitbit. I, I really do. Eight mile walk, and it starts in 10 minutes. Oh, come on, bro. Like, really? Oh, this is so stupid. Some people shouldn't have kids, man. I'm, I'm going to say it. Starts in 10 minutes and it's eight miles away and we're going <laughs> to we're gonna walk. Can you, to put that in perspective, average people run a mile in 15 minutes. Not Talulu, though. Not Talulu, though. She is a speed demon. Did you did you see how fast Talulu ran just then? I mean, you, you blink and you missed it. So I'll, I'll play it again. I'll have to slow it down for you because, guys, keep your eyes open and watch the screen. You will miss it, I'm saying. But it starts in 10 minutes. What an absolute speed demon. Oh, great. So, yeah, it starts in 10 minutes and it's eight miles away. I can already see where this is heading and not to the hygienist. Tallulah! That's the talk! Tallulah! Oh! Brilliant. So it means I'm gonna be late. <laughs> oh, bro. Why? <laughs> Where am I watching? You're already late. What's your. What? Oh, man. I've, okay, well, I'm glad that they were getting the bus and they weren't gonna walk the eight miles. That's good to hear. <laughs> but just leaving it 10 minutes and it's eight miles away. Oh, great. Now, now I'm going to, yeah, now I'm going to be late. Ugh. We would have been fine before, but now. Ugh. <sighs> great. Well done, Tululu. Blames the kid as well. If anything, she was the closest one to the bus. Tululu. <laughs> oh, this is not working out well at all. We've woke up late. Well, it's 25 past. I have to be there at half past. And it'll take most of about half an hour on bus. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, well. Come on, Tulula. Let's go back home and have energy drinks. We deserve it because we are queens. Come on, queen. Let's go. Okay, but imagine going on TV. You feel like the fact that you know you're going on TV, you would at least try and play up a little bit, okay? Not Natalie here. She don't give a sh**. 
How important is it if, if your kids like teeth are killing them, hurting, and you're just like, oh, well, well, uh, we gave it our best shot. Hey, Tallulah, we'll try again next week. <laughs> like what? So it means we've been about half an hour late, which I don't think they'll be impressed with. Everything starts from parenting because that's where, you know, the battles are won and lost. Tallulah hasn't gone to today's appointment. But Natalie wasn't convinced by it in the first place. Oh, okay, there it is. What do you mean you're not convinced, bro? Like, early on in the video, your kid is literally saying every- Pointing at every tooth, saying, this hurts, this one hurts, this one hurts. But Natalie, nah, bro, she ain't convinced. Like, nah, that's fine. Any excuse to be lazy, that's what it is. I feel like that's really what it boils down to. She didn't want to get up early. She didn't want to take her kid to the dentist. Couldn't be bothered. So it comes up with an excuse. I think dentist conspiracy theory. <laughs> Okay, okay, Natalie, yeah. A lesson in how to brush your teeth. Obviously, she's still on the farm and, you know, it's quite difficult to get her to brush her teeth properly as it is. Never mind, do it in circles and brush these this way and that that way. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Natalie, calm, calm down. One step at a time. Only the pros can do the circle technique. I, I myself have only just mastered the circle technique. Okay, one step at a time. We're going to start off with just the back and forth, you know. Maybe Talila will get good like me one day and be able to do triangles, squares, hexagons. I mean, I've been doing it for about 26 years now. And I've got to say, I've, I've quite the pro. Don't worry, Talila. A little hard work and you'll, you'll get there. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Oh, brushing your teeth's hard work. I'm really glad they filmed this. I feel like this is the type of person where if you were to tell them what they're like, they wouldn't believe you. So I'm really glad that they got this on camera because that has to be single-handedly the most stupid thing I've ever heard. <laughs> they're not interested in brushing the teeth, really. Why would you want to brush your teeth when you can sit downstairs and watch a bit of, you know, Peppa Pig or... Mum, I don't want to brush my teeth. I want to watch Peppa Pig. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lots of things that kids would rather do than brush their teeth or eat healthy or leave the house. Why would I take my little Tallulah to school when she can sit down at bottle, watch Peppa Pig? Don't make sense. She's only young. She's got the rest of her life to learn stuff, you know. Doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Why would you want to brush your teeth when you can sit downstairs? Number one parent of the year. Number one parent right there, guys. I believe that was a quote directly stolen. Albert Einstein, one of the most intelligent men, once said, and I quote, <clears throat> Why go school when you can sit down, have a bottle, and watch Peppa Pig? Natalie is truly learning from the best, I see. Do something else, you know. It's it's like it's a chore for it. Well, yeah, it, quite, yeah, it is a chore. Lots of things that I... I, I Oh, why, why even bother going to the toilet? Like, why waste that time of getting up and going bathroom? I just, I just, just do it where I sit. I don't see the point, personally. Just, uh, while I'm editing these videos, I don't see what, like, what is the point? Yeah, uh, well, th think about it, right? I've got to get up. Oh my God, that takes energy time. I've got to, you know, go to the bathroom, use toilet paper. That kills trees. I just, you know, and then I go, oh, flush the toilet. That costs money. I just like to feces where I'm sitting right now. <laughs> Save the planet, I say. Stop wasting money on or energy on water or paper. Did she really think that she was going to say this on national TV? And she would go, oh, yes. Parent of the year. Totally agree. Oh, that Natalie, bro. She's a, she's a smart one. But there we have it, guys. That is the first part. There will be a second part to this because, holy shit, this is a long episode. And if I was to do both, I think this video would probably be like an hour long. So I'm not going to do that. Also, guys, I, I need to retain some of the knowledge that Natalie is saying. And I don't learn too much at once, okay? I, I'm, try, I'm trying my best to take this knowledge and write it down because I want to start living by some of Natalie's rules. It makes a lot of sense. Like, I thought brushing my teeth and stuff would be helpful, but she's really opened up my mind. It's just a time waste, in my opinion. And I fully agree with Natalie on that one. But anyway, boys and girls, if you want to learn more tips and tricks on life and also want to see how it ends with Tallulah and Natalie, please let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a part two. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.